Hello and welcome back. This is Ashkur Rafi once again. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create and activate an under construction page or a coming soon page for your newly created WordPress website. For instance, here as you can see, I have been building this portfolio website as I have started providing WordPress web design services to my clients. And if you just notice, I have got these demo contents here, uh, demo contents, which should be updated and currently I'm working on this. Now, if some of my visitors are going to visit my web page, they are going to see this under construction website. So I don't want to make this happen. Instead, I want to show them a dedicated web page where they're going to see like coming soon or website under construction. And then I'm going to show them a timer where they're going to find information like how long they have to wait to revisit this website and they're going to find everything fine. So let me show you how we can do this for your website as well. So here I'm on my WordPress backend. Now, first thing that you have to do is you have to install a plugin named Elementor, which is the website builder I'm going to use. And you can use this Elementor web builder completely free to set up a beautiful coming soon page. So let's go to plugins and then click on add new and after that you have to make a search elementor and it is going to be appeared here so here we go this is the elementor page builder so i have already installed by clicking on this install now button which was here and then i have activated this plugin and this is the reason why i am seeing this elementor section here as you can see so after installing and activating this plugin, you just have to click on Elementor, actually hover over on Elementor, and then you are going to find this tools option. So let's click on tools option. And after that, you are going to find this maintenance mode option. So let's click on it. And after that, we have got few options. As you can see, chose mode. Currently it is disabled, but we are going to make it enabled within few minutes with coming soon or maintenance page selection so and after that we have got another option as you can see who can access whenever it is enabled in maintenance mode who are the people who are going to access the site so i'd love to keep it to logged in but if you want you can select custom and then you can select these um, authorities as you can see administrator editor authors contributor and subscriber so i'd love to keep it to logged in and after that we are going to we have to choose a template to use for our under construction page. So let me show you how you can create. As you can see here, we don't have any um, any coming soon page created. So here we have got a button create one. As you can see to enable maintenance mode, you have to set a template for the maintenance mode page. Select one or go ahead and create now. So now I'm going to click on create one so that I'll be able to start creating a new coming soon page. So here we go add new template so i'm going to give a name to name uh, for this page or actually for this coming soon page is coming soon and then i'm going to click on publish and after that we are going to see this edit with elementor button here as we have installed elementor page builder so let's click on it And here we go, we are seeing the header section and the footer section also appeared for this page, but we don't need these header and footers. So we have to remove them from here and how we can get a blank page instead. So let me show you, simply go to this settings option. There, here we go at the bottom left corner, then click on it. And after that, simply go to page layout and then click on Elementor canvas. And here it is selected. Let's click on update. And now if I reload this page, you are going to see that we have got a blank page here. Now we'll be able to create a template from the scratch or we can use free templates. So as we have got the option, let me show you how we can uh, use their free templates available on their template library. So first of all, click on this folder icon and then go to actually here wait just uh, for a few seconds and as you can see here you are going to see a few templates these are free but when you are seeing this pro uh, mark here you have to purchase them or you have to upgrade your elementor elementor version so we don't need to update simply what you have to do you have to make a search here coming 
and here we go we have got few pages as you can see first one is a pro but the second one is free the third one is also free and or actually sorry this one is also free sorry pro and then you have got this one free this one free but this one is going to work for me let me show you how to customize this template so let's click on insert and here we go it's been inserted and now what I want to do I want to change this text actually remove this text and I want to add a counter timer or actually time counter so let's just remove this one by simply deleting and then we have to click here and let's make a search here count down as you can see here countdown so let's click here and drag it right after this uh, coming soon part and it's been added as you can see now i want to change this date as i have mentioned i want to place uh, actually I'm, I'm going to complete this maintenance task in three days so i'm going to select three days here so now currently this is second not here actually this is second december so i'd love to publish the website by 5th december and i would love to give the timing to let's say um, 7 pm 7 0 0 pm all right and now let's click on public update actually and here we go we have got this beautiful thing so now let's say i i don't want or actually i'm not uh, loving the background colors added into these uh, timers so what how i can just remove or change so it's simple simply click here again and then go to style and after that as you can see here background color simply click here and then you can change the colors as you want okay so you can simply change the colors but i don't i'm not actually loving the colors so i'd love to keep them transparent and they're looking great here okay so now let's say i want to increase the text size of this header so first of all simply click here and then go to styles and after that go to typography and you can simply increase the size of the text if you want or as you want and if you want to change the color of the text it's pretty simple as you can see here okay this is the way and then let's say i want to change my icon so actually my facebook twitter and i want to instead of linkedin i want to add instagram icon here and i want to add them my links so let me show you how you can do this simple simply click here and then you are going to find the social icons for facebook let's see here and i'm going to find my facebook page here let me go to facebook.com slash i'm going to copy and going to paste it here and make sure this link is selected as open a new a new window you are going to find right after by clicking on this gear icon so let's click here after that we have got twitter so let me take my twitter handle as well uh, actually twitter.com slash rafi mm this is my id so i'm going to put it here and then instead of linkedin i don't want linkedin so let's cross it out and i want my instagram handle here so let's click on add item and then wordpress is selected so let's change it to from icon library again let me show you simply click on icon library and then uh, search for instagram instagram and then click on insert and here we go now let's just change this to with with my link so i'm going to type out instagram and here is my link you can follow me on instagram to get latest updates from um, my coming videos and coming days and make sure the open in new window is selected all right so now let's click on update and if you want you can keep this email address but i don't want to keep this email address so what i'm going to do simply i'm going to click on the right button of my mouse and then click on delete so it has been removed all right so now let's see if everything looking good okay so it looks good but we are seeing like we are seeing uh, some issues with the alignment so i'm going to make them properly properly aligned here so let me show you how we can do this it's pretty simple simply click here uh, on which you want to make the adjustment and then I want to give them some padding or let's say give them some margins to see if they are going to work fine for us so let's click on advance and you're going to find this margin option and padding option so let's click on it and then I want margin left to I want to minus so it will be go a little bit 
uh, deeper here okay so as you can see it's just properly aligned now and same thing i want to do this same thing for this section as well and go to advanced and you're going to find this margin section so let's click on it and then we are going to give the left margin and it's looking almost uh, aligned properly so let's just click on update and now if i view this page in a new window we are going to see that it's almost uh, perfect here now let's say you want to actually you can actually do spend some more time to give the proper alignment here it's always there and now let's say i want to change the background image with my image so let me show you how you can change the background image with your image so again let's click on this as you can see here uh, six dots you have to click here on these six dots and after that go to style and then you are going to find this option either you can select a background color or you can select an image so let's choose image and then i'd love to let me see i'd love to use my image which is this one and let's click on insert media and now it is not looking good so let me show you how you can make it perfect actually looking good so let's go to here give some position to center top center and it is going to look nice and then we have got attachment we are going to keep it to fixed so that it will be stayed here but the text will be removable or actually moving and we are going to see that fixed okay so and repeat is going to be no repeat and size is going to be cover all looks good now let's click on update and let's change the background color so we can simply change the background color by clicking here and here we go okay so whatever color you want you can simply keep so i'd love to keep it to this color not the total black but the blackish and just take a look how it is going to look like now let's click on update let's say i have done the customization of my uh, coming soon page now it's time to activate this coming soon page or actually I want to keep or actually take my image a little bit upper so we can simply do this and let's see how it is looking like okay if a little more okay now it should be looking nice here so let's see and here we go it's looking much better than before so now let me show you how you can activate this uh, activate this work on our backend so let's click on this hamburger and then click on exit to dashboard and then you have to go to elementor then click on tools after that come back to this maintenance mode and now choose mode to coming soon after that who can access i'd love to keep it to logged in and then choose template coming soon which we have just created and then click on save change now just take a look maintenance mode is on and we are seeing it with, with a red mark here so there is no chance we are going to uh, ignore or we are going to forget about enabling or disabling this coming soon uh, page so now let me show you how it is going to work for us if i visit this page here as we are already signed in we are going to be able to see all the contents of this web page because we are going to work here but when someone else is going to visit this page from let's say this browser um, copy and paste and they're not going to see anything inside of our web page all right so this is the coming soon page which we have created so now let's say you have completed working on your website and it's time to publish your website it's completely ready it's time to publish your website simply go back here and then you have to click on dashboard on whatever page you are actually at and then go to elementor and then tools and after that go to maintenance mode and then disable this maintenance mode click on save change and here we go our page is going to be live and everyone will be able to anyone will be able to visit our website using this domain name so this was it guys i believe you have found this video helpful and if you did please give this video a like share this video to help your friends and if you're interested to learn more about website design development elementor pro or db theme usage db builder usage 
then please don't forget to subscribe my channel and again thank you so so much for watching this video